Hi, it's Edith at So Have Fun. I've had a lot of questions recently about the Evolution Serger and how to change it over from co serging to cover stitch. So I thought I'd just take a few minutes and show you today. So first of all, we're going to remove our overlock needles. And you do want to remember to retighten those screws. And then you can insert the needles in the front slots. And there are three. Today I'm just going to use two. And I've removed the foot just to make it a little bit easier for me. And you can do that too. And tighten up those screws. There we go. So we've got our thread. Uh, we want to remove our overlock guide. And we're going to be inserting a table which will give us a flat surface. But you can see right now that this upper looper is in the way. So what we want to do is disengage that. And we're just going to turn this knob to the down position. And as we turn the hand wheel, you'll see that it pops and stays down. We've also disengaged our knife. And now we can move our table into position quite nicely. We're going to get ready to thread. So I've got the loopers ready to thread. We're going to insert our thread. And we've got the spool on the chain looper's uh, post. And in it goes into the port with the seat with the cover stitch. And just a couple of pops and you can see when we open this up, the thread is all puddled down there. And that's exactly what we want. And then we're just going to simply thread our needles. Now this we do the traditional way. And I'll just use the tweezers to help me. And the thread goes in behind. Helps to have a nice fresh snip on the thread. There we go. That's probably the hardest part of the whole works. Now, since we're using cover stitch, I thought I'd show you this cool foot. This is the pipe, uh, pin tuck foot. And this is going to give great texture to a project. There we go. We've got it slotted into place. Now, there's a little groove or a little tunnel under that foot. And we're going to slide this little piece in there. Disengage our threading ports and change our stitch length to about three. And I've got some of this Robert Kaufman Radiance. It's so beautiful, so nice to work with. And under the foot it goes. Just get my threads out of the way. There we go. use the EL705 needles when you're doing a cover stitch. There we go. And you'll notice that you can chain off with our with the baby lock serger. And there you go. With the pin tuck foot, isn't that a neat texture? You get so many possibilities with that. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.